there! Welcome back for another episode of Daisy of Love! This time we're watching episode 4. Let's get right into it. I've been so excited to watch more. <laughs> Let's go! We start off getting to see Big Rig's booty for a sec. I know some of you have the hots for him. I see your comments. <laughs> I think today's gonna be a good day. Today's a new day. We've got from 12 people down to nine, and hopefully all the quitters are out of here. I'm still trying to think of what that flat iron is doing for your hair, man. What do you mean? Looks the same when you're out of bed, man. <laughs> but London's cute so far. You know, I like that maybe people underestimate me a little bit. I'm definitely feeling something between me and Daisy. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm looking forward to spending more time with her and getting to know her better. Sinister thinks Chi Chi is winning this over him so far, and I don't think that's true. I'd say at this point, Chi Chi's definitely a little ahead of me. It makes me jealous a little bit to feel that they would have a connection. Now I'm realizing that things are gonna get a little tough between the two of us. He must not have noticed that Daisy was grossed out by Chi Chi's touchiness in the last episode. Time for them to meet up with Daisy. All right, guys, come out to the living room. Billy Bassman gets us started. We are going to separate the guys that can rock from the ones that are just all talk. You guys are gonna be playing live for us. You are going to be creating songs that are based on some of the songs that Daisy used to listen to when she was younger, as in nursery rhymes. Oh, no. <laughs> I like rock stars. They're going to have to perform nursery rhymes for Daisy. I decided it would be fun if these guys took some of my favorite songs from when I was a kid and turned them into the badass rock and roll songs. How fun. This challenge is all about how hard you rock and also how hot you look doing it. If you guys actually make some music that I would actually listen to, then you will be winning a date with me. I've been dying to see music equipment since I've been here. I mean, this is not my forte at all. So they're gonna be split up into trios. Daisy lets the three guys who are actually in bands be the three team's leaders. Six Gage, London, and Sinister, you guys are all the band leaders. I'm gonna hand you your guys' CDs. Now let's take turns picking band members. Sinister burns London right off the bat. London says he's a musician, but there's a difference between getting paid for what you do and doing what you do in a garage with your buddies. Hmm, I love that. Pick wisely. <laughs> Big rig. <laughs> London, you are next. I'll pick Cage. Nice. Because you heard me singing in the shower. So I heard you singing in the okay. shower. Yeah. They make some good picks. And then Chi Chi is like, I write songs, I sing, and I play guitar. I know my best friend Sinister is going to pick me. But Sinister picks 12 pack instead. I heard uh, 12 pack can play drums a little bit, so I'm going to pick him. What the fuck? Okay, Sinister doesn't pick Chi Chi, and I'm surprised. I mean, I thought they were besties. Very interesting. Chi Chi ain't the greatest drummer, so I'm gonna do anything that I can to win. So Six Gage will be on a team with Big Rig and Flex. London gets Chi Chi. Sorry, Sinister, but uh, Chi Chi. Welcome to the winning team. So uh, Sinister doesn't pick me. My feelings were definitely hurt. I'm gonna give 100% and I'm gonna show him why he should have picked me for his team. Leaving Fox to be on Sinister and 12 Pack's team. Fox isn't exactly the sharpest pencil in the box, but I can work with him. We'll make it happen. So they have two hours to prepare for their performance. All right. Sinister's team gets to do Old McDonald, and I just love this already. I'm giddy. All right, check it out. We get the song, Old MacDonald. All right, stop it. We gotta make this sound cool somehow. This is such a fun concept. You know how to play that? We had to do a version of row, row, row your boat. So my goal with my team was basically like, hey, let's, let's bring the passion, let's do it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. <laughs> and Six Gage's team has Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> I don't even know the words to this song. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star will rock Daisy's socks off tonight. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> I love that Sinister is so about this. Pick your bass up. I'm gonna throw him a bass, teach him how to play real fast. 12 pack plays drums a little bit. And uh, I start conducting Old McDonald <laughs> in a new punk rock form. And Fox is just kind of tagging along. Daisy, Daisy, you're my flower. 
What does that fit in? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think at his point, he's just gotta look good, and that'll be pretty much his part of this band. So they go to practice their song. Meanwhile, Chi Chi hears this and is heartbroken. Dude, they're good, dude. They are. Sinister knows what he's doing on the stage, and um, that's why he didn't pick me. He knows he's gonna win this competition, and kind of sucks for me right now. Six Gage's team realizes they're not very musically gifted. Jay -Zay, Jay -Zay, my this sucks. We can't keep a beat. We don't know how to play the instruments. We're fucking up. We're dropping our music. I don't know how this is gonna go well. So to help their performance, they have a costume idea. Since we're not rock stars, we might as well use what we have to our abilities. We should just not wear any fucking clothes. Yeah, draw tattoos and shit all over ourselves. I wear like a bandana or something this year. Yeah. Uh, I got something coming for him. Oh boy. All right, they're all looking like rockers, that's for sure. They went all out. I was a little nervous that these guys would be wimps about the situation, but they seem pretty gun-ho and they're looking pretty hot. Well, I mean, most of them are anyways. Refrigerator Johnson kicks off the challenge. I am going to be one of the judges. Daisy is going to be one of the judges, but we've also got a very special guest. She not only knows a lot about the music biz, she is also one of Daisy's best friends. Taylor, come on out! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Calm down, guys. Don't get too excited. Low-rise pants always made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like, if they slip just a little bit, her whole cooch... Taylor's dad is the guitar player for the Steve Miller Band, and she's been around rock stars her whole life. If you guys don't impress me, I'll make sure to let Daisy know this sexy girl is my best friend. Mm -hmm. We're going to be judging you by performance, image, and the way you look. I want to hear what you guys have got. It's time to impress. This challenge is about winning a date with me. All right, Six Gauge, Flex, and Big Rig are up first. Let's see what jam they might create. We're Chip <laughs> and Daisy, and our song was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Oh, wow! Wait, where's Big Rig? What? My God, big rig. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you fucking serious? I told you he wasn't wearing underwear. Big rig has a guitar in front of his big rig. Fat his ball sacks hanging out the bottom of his bass. I didn't know if his hands were playing it or his balls were playing it. Okay, Six Gauge takes it a little too far. Come on. <laughs> Six Gauge rips his pants off and starts shaking his banana hammock like I've never seen anyone shake their banana hammock before. That is the dirtiest rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star I have ever heard. Fuck yeah! That's how you do it! That was great. I'm sure that they'll win, right? That was a little scandalous. All right, London. All right, your band is up next. It's all for you, baby doll. Time for London, Chi Chi, and Cage. Okay, Daisy, this song, this was Row, 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 Your Boat. One, two, three, four. Yeah! Listenable, right? But Daisy loves it. I've always been attracted to musicians, and London, I just want to make out with him. Oh, it ends in disaster. Oh no. Oh man. That didn't work out quite the way I expected. I definitely got a little crazy. I was trying to like hit the cymbal with the guitar and just, you know. Um, that's why I'm allowed to play guitar in my band. All right, time for Sinister, Fox, and 12 Pack. Uh, this song is called the E-I-E-I-O song. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, McDonald. Oh, McDonald. Oh, McDonald. Oh, that's right, I'm sorry. Woo! A legit song. Heck yeah. Sinister is looking amazing on guitar. 12 pack can play drums. Wow. And box. Well, 
He has good hair. That was damn good. <laughs> There, we rocked the song perfect, and there it was. Ah, I got my eye on the prize. Riff Raff Mandolin isn't very impressed. Personally, I think they all suck. Sinister's band did follow the theme correctly, the most correct. While I appreciate what they're trying to do, Chip and Daisy looks like a bunch of kids that got in their mom's makeup kit. Not cute. And he's especially unimpressed with Daisy's decision. I'm gonna have to go with. London scene. Yes! 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 God. You've got to be kidding. I'm a romantic, passionate, feeling person. He brought a part of himself into that song. I definitely think London is my rock and roll dream. Oh snap, just noticed something right here that reminded me of something. Someone said that they noticed in Daisy's Talking Heads, her hairstyle clearly changes like a lot. So they clearly edited the crap out of this show. This was the only time I ever actually noticed, but boy, is there a big difference. Look at these two pictures side by side. Like these were filmed at least a month apart judging by her root growth or at least a couple weeks right <laughs> yes i went into detective mode for this she looks a lot different and that's kind of sad to think about considering she was allegedly struggling with drug addiction during this time i just wanted to point that out because it just kind of shocked me a little to see the difference and it goes to show you never truly know what is said when on these shows because they edit the heck out of them so yeah London's team won. If I knew the challenge was just about jumping around and looking like an idiot and just going like this and trying to look cool, maybe I would have done that. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank so you, much. Thank you. Thanks, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Chi Chi is low key, like, in your face, Sinister. My boy Sinister, I feel bad for him, but he should have picked me for his team. Well, actually, not low key, I guess. <laughs> Chi Chi, Cage, and London, we are all gonna go to Gibson's showroom and have a romantic time. Yes, yes. I'm psyched. I'm going on my, my third date now. I'm gonna be a target now. There's gonna be some guys who are a little jealous and everything. Come on, man. So they go out with Daisy, and London is already causing problems. Cheers, cheers. London, you're finished already? I know, what? No. Last time I was here, I woke up in someone's neighborhood in my car, with no idea how I got there. Really? That seems to be a reoccurring theme with you. You know, most of the ride on the bus, like, I kind of get this, like, weird vibe from her. And now he's talking about how his father kicked him out of his house. I hate to say this, but I'm good. I guess I'm kind of homeless, like, I get... Uh, You're homeless? I moved out. I was, you know, I, I was kind of kicked out of my house before I left. My father, he basically called called the cops and pretended like I attacked him. The cops were like, yo, you know, if he wants you out, you got to be out. But Daisy just turns into Doug from Up. Squirrel. That definitely sucks. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. And right there, like, I started kind of turning a little sour. They're like, wait a second. Like, do you want to hear about me or not? But, you know, I bit my tongue because, you know, I'm not that sensitive. I've got thick skin. Like, I don't just, like, you know, get pissed off at any little thing, you know? They show up at the Gibson Museum. There's crazy pianos, amazing guitars. It's like a dream come true. Because you guys were such amazing rockers, me and Gibson wanted to give you the Epiphone Les Paul Ultra Guitar. Daisy gives them, like, the sickest present ever. I, I, oh, oh wow. wow. I'm not trying to get super emotional, but, like, I seriously, like, I sold my guitar, and now I have a guitar again. So thank you so much. Well, don't cry. I'm not crying. I didn't cry. I don't cry. Don't boys, cry, cry, baby. Bad boys don't cry. London starts playing all nice on the piano with Daisy sitting there. I'm a fairly talented guy. I'm good at a lot of things I do. And Chi Chi immediately just steps in and gets London out of there. This is a competition. And uh, I hope to have the biggest connection with Daisy than anybody in the house. You smell good. Thanks, sweetheart. You feel so good. And I'm just wondering, why do I have to compete against these guys? That's what's confusing me right now. So Daisy and Chi-Chi talk about his friendship with Sinister. What's going on with you and Sinister? Everything's cool, but I can tell he looks at me different and it kind of sucks. I know that Sinister and Chi-Chi are bromates, so when I'm with one, I'm pretty sure that it bothers the other. Yeah, she could just drop both of them because it's too weird to come between friends, I feel like. Now he sees me making a connection and um, he's pretty sad about that. He's my best friend and I wish him the best of luck, but I'm here because of you. 
I do not want to be responsible for tearing two long-term friends apart. Now Daisy and Cage are going to talk one-on-one. -on -one. I wanted to take Cage for some alone time. This is our first date, so I want to get to know him better. Meanwhile, London is like, boo-hoo, she doesn't even like me. Seems like she's kind of like, just got a problem with me. London definitely blew things out of proportion. Well, I thought we had a lot in common, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You never, you never think you have girls figured out. Someone doesn't listen to you when you talk about yourself. Yeah. They don't care about you. But then Cage tells a devastating story. My life and my past is so extreme and intense, you know what I mean? If there's anyone that's gonna understand, it's me. I lived on the street for a while, and in and out of trash cans, and uh, I pretty much fought in alleys for money. Somebody discovered me, and I started, you know, fighting professionally. I'm sorry, and you're an amazing person. Damn. What a past that man has. Okay. <laughs> It definitely means a lot for me to share something that, that powerful and important about, about me. I just wanted Daisy to see the good in me. At least Daisy was sensitive about it. London is over this shit after not getting attention for like three hours. <laughs> what a baby. Someone's going to not show me like any kind of degree of respect after I've been working hard to like, you know, show them like a side of me, to show them that I'm, I'm here for them. If you're not paying attention to me, then like, you know, fuck this, whatever. Cheers. Is there something you want to tell me that you- She's gonna say one thing real quick. Oh shit, so he's gonna call her out and be a little too aggressive. Honestly, you gave me an attitude the whole time. Everyone in this car picked up on it. You picked me to be your target. You gave me an attitude the whole time before we got there. I just came here because I wanted, like, you know, to see what would happen. I don't even understand where this all even came from. His voice is different, so you know those drinks are definitely getting to him. It turns into a full-on fight between Daisy and London. But you've been giving me shit and giving me an attitude, and that's fine. It's, if you don't like me, send me home. Pack my you shit up and let me go home. I, no, seriously. If that's what you want to do, I will go down and pack your shit for you. How about that? That's fine. Okay. They get back home from the date, but oh man, the music is still intense, and you know what that means. <laughs> Something's gonna go down. When the guys finally come through the door i hear that london's ready to pack his bags daisy's up in the room crying we gotta get london right out of this place Fuck that! now london is just unhinged london comes in he's throwing stuff around he's, he's screaming at you know the camera people just get the fucking camera out of my face man pushing him out of the way saying he doesn't want to be around anybody he's packing his bags he's going home i'm thinking great any human that can act like this throwing stuff and hitting walls can go live in a ditch okay you suck we don't need to no, let's just lay down home, i'm not gonna do it for the cameras either man i don't know man so blue look at me toxic you're nasty get just get out of there just get out of my sight you know what i'm ready for this guy to go home I'm sick of it. You don't want to be here. You want to pack your bags, get all emotional, go home. I agree with Sinister, but Daisy's like, the drama means that we actually care. Come on. <laughs> I don't think that we would be having drama if we both didn't care. I went from like nothing and being the fuck up to like really like doing everything I could to show you, you know? I don't know what it is about London, but pretty much all I want to do is make out with him. She literally begs him to stay. <laughs> I do not want to fucking be in this room by myself. I'm crying over you. But, but. I know you need to make it hurt. Okay. So that was super gross and toxic, and I don't like it at all. The next day, Daisy decides to send some of the guys out with Ducky Quackman for a makeover. I came here for a makeover, that's what I came here for. <laughs> Chip and Daisy's tried really hard to give themselves a rock and roll makeover, but. It went horribly wrong. So I decided to have Ricky take the boys over to Floyd's 99 to have a real rock and roll makeover. That'll be interesting. <laughs> but in the meantime, Daisy wants to play Truth or Dare. Oh, well, I've never really played Truth or Dare with like six other guys, so. First up is Fox. Chi Chi, Truth or Dare. Truth. Who do you think's gonna go first between you and Sinister? I think Daisy would choose Sinister to stay over me. Why would you think that? I just look up to Sinister. He's like the best musician, and your guys' lifestyles are so alike. Weird answer. Okay, Chi Chi. What does this mean? Does Chi Chi think Sinister's better for me than him? Okay. I wasn't complimented at all when Chi Chi thinks that I'm gonna be here longer than him. It's kind of a sympathy move, and I'm not sure that 
I thought it was too cool. Daisy dares 12 pack and Cage to arm wrestle. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Whoever wins, I'll kiss them. Grab Come on, Cage! If you can lock the One, two, no. on. three, let's go! Hey. Oh. Oh. 12 pack wins and just like destroys Daisy's face. <laughs> There's no way they are really kissing. What? <laughs> Um, okay, London. Truth or dare? Is like, uh, truth. Daisy uses London's truth as an opportunity to, like, call him out in front of everyone. Why did your dad kick you out of the house? If she had just listened to me on the bus when I was explaining kind of my situation, she would have known that when I had to ask me. I can't tell you why he kicked me out. I can't. Okay. It will. okay. So, like, where are you living now, then? I understand why she would do that. It's for the show, you know, but also sort of that was uncalled for, I guess. But like London is kind of a douchebag. I don't know how to feel anymore. <laughs> like it's a personal issue that was upsetting to me and bring it up in front of everybody like I did something wrong. So that right there was just, that was the moment. I was like, obviously we're not connecting anymore. All right, I'll tell you what, um, time for me to go. Daisy talks with Nick Knackerman to try to figure out what to do. I started feeling this ride from London like we got a huge screaming fight. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I don't want him to stay. You know why, Daisy? Because I see that you're hurt right now and I see that you already got in the fight. Let me tell you something, when you're in a relationship and you start getting in little fights, it doesn't start like that and then everything is better. But she just doesn't listen to him. <laughs> I see a lot of guys that are bending over backwards to spend any time with you at all. When I'm with him though, it's like a connection and it's like amazing. Why am I here? Because I, I don't want to see you get hurt. And I see you getting hurt and I see you leading towards a situation that you're about to get hurt. It's like obvious at this point that she wants London to win, right? London, I need to talk to you. Ricky's concern was that he sees how much I like you and how we're already fighting. I'm going to offer you a chain tonight. I hope that you take it. You know, I'm just like, I'm incredibly confused. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Don't bullshit us. You'll accept it. I didn't win the challenge. That was the music challenge. Daisy's favoring a guy who wants to leave, and I'm starting to have a little problem with Chi Chi, but... Wow. What did they do to six gauge flex and big rig? <laughs> like why? Not gonna lie, the eyeliner actually works for flex. <laughs> right when I seen big rig's hair, I was like, whoa, that's kind of spicy. You never want to see a guy that big with nipple rings wearing a shirt like that. I was scared for my life. Flex, big rig, and six gauge. The fact that you guys did that and we're good sports about it. Daisy is ready to make her first pick. I'm getting a first chain and some people are going home, and that just means I am closer to my final destination. So I want this first chain to go to Cage. Wow. It's going to Cage. You are a beautiful person. So would you please stay in this house and be my rock star? Of course. Thank of you. Course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I got the first chain. I made a huge connection with her during the date. So I mean, I definitely feel like I do deserve it. Cheese Chi somehow gets the second chain. I'm absolutely starting to feel a little bit of jealousy. I, I don't really know what those two got going on yet, but uh, it's gotta be something, I guess. 12 pack will also get to stay. Every day that you're here, I begin to trust you more and more. So, would you be my rock star? Mm, put it on me. Okay. If I don't get a fucking chain, I'm gonna freak out. She lets a few more stay. Flex. <sighs> would you like to stay in this house and be my rock star? Of course. Awesome. Big break. I would love for you to stay in this house and be my rock star. I would love to be your rock star. <laughs> Thank you. And then she gets real emotional. What's next? Guy? Sorry. <laughs> London to let London stay. I mean, what the heck? I know that Ricky's got some concerns about me being maybe the same kind of guy that you fell for before. And as a part of me that says, like, I am that kind of guy. I just, I, I can't take it. Daisy, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Whoa, wait. And to hear him say that he wants to leave really pisses me off. I want you to stay in this house. I'm not you know gonna that. fake it to you, I can't. Yes, finally, he's doing the right thing. You shouldn't have to like fight as hard. You should have to fight with each other. I'm just trying to be honest. And, and, and Ricky, I'm not trying to hurt. Seriously, this is the most respect I have ever had for you, okay? 
Daisy hates it, but it's a good thing. When London tells me that he wants to leave, it makes me feel that he's leaving because I'm not good enough. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta let I agree. I don't know. I guess yeah. I wish you all the best, man. <laughs> And it starts to rain as he's leaving. What is this, a romantic comedy? It's too perfect. You know, nothing's ever 100%, but I said right now I'm like 95% sure that I'm making the right decision. But maybe one day it'll be a different story and uh, you know, I'll be able to, to write you that song. Daisy is destroyed. I, I promise you you're gonna get over this and I promise you that you're gonna say this is the right thing. Continuing on with the rest of these guys right now, it just terrifies me. We're just kind of standing there waiting to see what happens next because I haven't got my chain and there's a couple other guys that haven't either. And they just leave it at that. Holy hell. What an ending. Are you kidding me? I must go watch the next episode now. There's no way I'm waiting. Oh, come on, taters.